Hey everybody, we're back with a roundup of tiny but mighty updates that have shipped since the new year. Alan, who's usually here with me, is currently on a ship across the Atlantic, or more likely a plane. So joining me today to help run through this is Sophia. So let's get into it. Thanks, Em, and thanks for having me. Alrighty, starting off with improvements that will help you build the best sites on the web. Variable modes launched, which allows you to create sets of variable values that can be easily switched and applied throughout your site, unlocking responsive design across devices, efficient theming, and a more scalable design system. Speaking of variable modes, those are now supported by shared libraries, as well as assets. You heard that right. Shared libraries now supports assets, variables, and components, unifying your design system across all the sites in your workspace. And we know how important organization is when it comes to building quality sites, which is why we also launched the new Assets panel. All asset management sections are now available in the three-dot menu, just like components and variables, making it even more efficient and intuitive to organize, replace, and compress assets. Next up, you can now style pre-tags in code blocks, making it easy to style all pre-tags and control formatting without custom code. Now, AI. We've got two exciting updates when it comes to using AI in Webflow. Remember the Webflow AI Assistant? Now you can make content modifications on Canvas, instantly adjust tone, length, clarity, and more, helping you fine tune your writing without additional work. And now for the launch. In case you missed it, we launched our AI Site Builder. This feature is not exactly tiny, but it's definitely mighty for those of you who are looking to get started faster. The AI Site Builder allows anyone to go from prompt to design system to site in minutes. And if you haven't played with it yet, go check it out. It's now in beta. Head over to webflow.com slash AI dash site dash builder. Let's talk about website management enhancements. For those on business site plans, we've introduced additional bandwidth add-ons, now allowing you to buy up to 2.5 terabytes of bandwidth, giving your site the capacity to scale as your business grows. We also shipped per-page JavaScript, which ensures each page on your site only loads the JavaScript resources it needs to function instead of using a single site-wide JS file, a big win for faster loader times. Now, let's talk about what's launched for Webflow Enterprise customers and their partners recently. First up is Custom Roles, which gives you granular control and security over which permissions teammates are assigned, like who can publish to production or make design system changes, with the ability to craft custom user roles to meet the unique needs of your team. We've also made some improvements to Webflow Optimize. And if you're not using it yet, what ship are you on? <laughs> Now, optimized enterprise customers can target, filter, and report your optimizations through the new Optimize Overview page, custom URL parameters, and custom attributes. Additionally, enterprise localization customers can now set individual static pages to draft for any given locale, which allows for increased control over the visibility and publishing timelines of localized pages. And last but not least, we launched dedicated CMS content delivery APIs, which programmatically extend the CMS data to power multi-channel experiences. OK, now moving on to apps. Used to working between Figma and Webflow? Well, we've made some improvements to how we sync components, sections, variables, and styles with our redesigned plugin and app. And don't forget to check out the new apps that have launched on the marketplace. We now have apps for Visual Electric, Triple Checker, Stripe, Smartling, ShipStation, and most recently, Clay. Now, on to improvements for marketers. In case you missed it, marketers can use page building to quickly drag and drop pre-built components to build designer-approved landing pages on their own. But we've added two new enhancements to the marketer role that give it even more flexibility and control. Marketers can now choose between building pages from scratch or by leveraging pre-built page templates. They can update content quickly by selecting components both in and outside the page slots. And not to mention, you can still access and edit props directly in the right-hand panel. Now, here's some updates for you freelancers and agencies out there. Client payments and seamless transfers are here, 
making it easier for you to let clients securely pay for site plans, bandwidth, add-ons, and transfer sites seamlessly without disruption. This is a major win for anyone who regularly builds for clients. And lastly, we have some exciting updates for our partners. Being an agency or freelancer is one part expertise and one part client work. And in case you missed it, to help our partners reach even more potential clients, you can now take advantage of our partnership with Contra, Dribble, and Upwork. We've also added way more ways to earn points and get recognized, and of course, drive client discoverability. You can now earn points for community contributions, add-ons, renewals, awards, and more. And you can check that out in your partner hub. And if you're not already a partner, there's never been a better time to apply. Just head on over to webflow.com slash certified dash partners. And that brings us to a close. This year has just begun and there's so much more to come. So thank you to everyone in the community for your feedback, suggestions, and the occasional ping or two. <laughs> Be on the lookout for more updates and don't forget to check out webflow.com slash updates to stay in tune on what's been released. And don't forget, mark your calendars because Webflow Conference is back. WebflowConf will be online and in New York, September 17th through 18th, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. So now, time for us to sail away.